All new at 6, emergency management personnel and school officials are gathering for a meeting to discuss safety issues and protocols. CBS 4 Sydney Hernandez joins us in the studio. And Sydney, what is the main item on their agenda? Well, Nicole, they're really looking to focusing how to keep these visitors on South Padre Island safe this spring break. South Padre Island Fire Chief Doug Fowler tells me they will have 50% more ambulances on the island ready to respond in critical situations. South Padre Island Fire Chief Doug Fowler says because of past incidents during spring break, they're stepping up their game. Uh, we will have more emergency medical resources than we've ever had before. Last spring break, Daisy Joy Decker was arrested and charged with intoxication assault and hit and run. After South Padre police say she hit two people, one was killed, another critically injured. Now law enforcement say this spring break will be more secure. Not only will they have extra staff, but also also a new state-of-the-art mobile command lab. It's a mobile emergency room that has capacity for 14 beds. So the difference between last year and this year is that last year we had what we call a triage tent, similar capacity, you know, 15 beds, um, but it was staffed by EMTs, uh, usually with a lead paramedic in charge. And so now we're going to have a doctor on staff. Chief Fowler says they're also prepared to respond if a mass casualty situation should occur. We have plans in place for every type of emergency we're going to have, any, any type of uh, uh, mass casualty. Police, fire and EMS work together to coordinate uh, how they're going to respond and how they're going to act in those situations. So that way we can, we can have a seamless delivery of services, uh, safely get in, remove the patients, treat them and get them to the hospital. Cameron County Emergency Management Coordinator Tom Hushin organizes these meetings with one goal, make sure residents are safe. It makes for an easier access, it makes for quicker response, it makes for, for saving lives. And that's the bottom line, is we want to make sure lives are saved. South Padre Island law enforcement will also have a social media team monitoring all posts regarding parties posted online. In the studio with complete Valley coverage, Sydney Hernandez, CBS4, Valley at 6.